Hello, beloved. This devotion is for Tuesday of the 22nd week after Pentecost, November 3rd, 2020. We begin with our opening versicle. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Our psalm for the week is Psalm 43. Vindicate me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. From the deceitful and unjust man, deliver me. For you are the God in whom I take refuge. Why have you rejected me? Why do I go about mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? Send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God my exceeding joy. And I will praise you with the lyre, O God, my God. Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our hymn for the week is hymn number 585 from Lutheran Service Book, Lord Jesus Christ, with us abide. Lord Jesus Christ, with us abide, for round us falls the eventide. O let your word, that saving light, shine forth undimmed into the night. In these last days of great distress, Grant us, dear Lord, true steadfastness, that we keep pure till life is spent, your holy word and sacrament. To hope grown dim, to hearts turned cold, speak tongues of fire and make us bold. To shine your word of saving grace Into each dark and loveless place. May glorious truths that we have heard The bright sword of your mighty word Spurn Satan that your church be strong Bold, unified in act and song. Restrain, O Lord, the human pride that seeks to thrust your truth aside, or with some man made thoughts or things would dim the words your spirit sings. Stay with us, Lord, and keep us true. Preserve our faith our whole life through. Your word alone, our heart's defense, the church's glorious confidence. Today's reading is from the prophet Jeremiah, the third and fourth chapters. The Lord said to me in the days of King Josiah, Have you seen what she did, that faithless one, Israel? How she went up on every high hill and under every green tree, and there played the whore? And I thought, After she has done all this, she will return to me. But she did not return, and her treacherous sister Judah saw it. She saw that for all the adulteries of that faithless one Israel, I had sent her away with a decree of divorce. Yet her treacherous sister Judah did not fear, but she too went and played the whore. Because she took her whoredom lightly, she polluted the land, committing adultery with stone and tree. Yet for all this her treacherous sister Judah did not return to me with her whole heart, 
but in pretense, declares the Lord. And the Lord said to me, Faithless Israel has shown herself more righteous than treacherous Judah. Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, Return, faithless Israel, declares the Lord. I will not look on you in anger, for I am merciful, declares the Lord. I will not be angry forever. Only acknowledge your guilt, that you rebelled against the Lord your God and scattered your favors among foreigners under every green tree, and that you have not obeyed my voice, declares the Lord. Return, O faithless children, declares the Lord, for I am your master. I will take you, one from a city and two from a family, and I will bring you to Zion. And I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. And when you have multiplied and been fruitful in the land in those days, declares the Lord, they shall no more say, the ark of the covenant of the Lord. It shall not come to mind or be remembered or missed. It shall not be made again. At that time Jerusalem shall be called the throne of the Lord, and all nations shall gather to it, to the presence of the Lord in Jerusalem. And they shall no more stubbornly follow their own evil heart. In those days the house of Judah shall join the house of Israel and together they shall come from the land of the north to the land that I gave your fathers for a heritage. I said, How I would set you among my sons and give you a pleasant land, a heritage most beautiful of all nations. And I thought you would call me my father and would not turn from following me. Surely as a treacherous wife leaves her husband, so have you been treacherous to me, O house of Israel, declares the Lord. A voice on the bare heights is heard, the weeping and pleading of Israel's sons, because they have perverted their way, they have forgotten the Lord their God. Return, O faithless sons, I will heal your faithlessness. Behold, we come to you, for you are the Lord our God. Truly the hills are a delusion, the orgies of the mountains. Truly in the Lord our God is the salvation of Israel. But from our youth, the shameful thing has devoured all for which our fathers labored, their flocks and their, and their herds, their sons and their daughters. Let us lie down in our shame and let our dishonor cover us. For we have sinned against the Lord our God, we and our fathers, from our youth even to this day, and we have not obeyed the voice of the Lord our God. If you return, O Israel, declares the Lord, to me you should return. If you remove your detestable things from my presence and do not waver, and if you swear as the Lord lives in truth, in justice, and in righteousness, then nations shall bless themselves in him, and in him shall they glory. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people and has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets who have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham, to grant us that we, being delivered from the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, 
and holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Merciful and gracious Lord, you cause your word to be proclaimed in every generation. Stir up our hearts and minds by your Holy Spirit, that we may receive this proclamation with humility, and finally be exalted at the coming of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Today we pray for ministers of the Word from the prayer book of the Lutheran Liturgical Prayer Brotherhood. We pray. Almighty and gracious God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hast commanded us to pray that thou wouldst send forth laborers into thy harvest, of thine infinite mercy, give us true teachers and ministers of thy word, and put thy saving gospel in their hearts and on their lips, that they may truly fulfill thy command and preach nothing contrary to thy holy word, that we, being warned, instructed, nurtured, comforted, and strengthened by thy heavenly word, may do those things which are well-pleasing to thee and profitable to us. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord. Amen. We conclude with Luther's morning prayer. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Order our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. God bless your day, beloved.